Good morning, Honorable Dean of this very prestigious medical college, Dr. Tambe, Honorable Settlement Commissioner, Shri Chokalingam Saheb, Organizing Secretary of this year's Research Society's Conference, Prof. Dr. Arti Kinikar, Chairman of the Research Society, Dr. Yamul, Distinguished Professors, faculty, staff, students, and all my dear friends. At the very outset, this is like homecoming for me. I am coming to this medical college, though virtually, after nearly a decade. I have spent 25 good years of my life in this very medical college and which I so proudly cherish. So I must thank the Dean and the Organizing Secretary for having invited me to give this address to the faculty and to the students. Friends, what do I remember? This is your 47th Research Society's conference and I have had the good fortune to witness the first conference of the Research Society of the BJ Medical College in 1968-1969, when we were all just postgraduates. Imagine it was a fine Tuesday morning and imagine 9.30 in the morning in front of the statue of the Bairamji Jijibai in the corridor of our main porch and little towards the office of the Dean. There was ultimate fragrance in the air, jasmine, tube rose, and gulab were all flowered everywhere. Students were moving and so were the teachers and the faculty. The aroma of the whole atmosphere was extremely delightful. We were all very astonished. Amidst that, there were a number of very scholarly looking professors, again as lovelyly dressed as the fragrance that was in the air. These professors were moving with lovely delegate kits and these delegate bags carried all the research material that the teachers and the students were going to present at that conference. It was Dr. M.J. Joshi, Dr. G.S. Mutalik, Dr. Uh, Shirole, my teacher and my professor, Dr. Prabhatai Gokhale, who was the organizing secretary then, and so many others who were there, Dr. Meru Mehta, the professor of surgery, and Dr. Maya Natu. They were all heading and were the chiefs of various sections in the conference. We were sitting at the last benches and some of us were volunteers. The conference gave me such material and such good research thoughts that I thought that I carried this beautiful fragrance of that research thought all through my life and probably that led me to the various positions that I could so wonderfully enjoy in life and I am enjoying thankfully by God's grace even till today. What do I address you then? This research society 47 years ago now has groomed into a middle-aged person and I think it has matured and you are going to see lovely research papers by our staff and by the students. So I was glancing through some of the research. And what did I see? Let me first say that amongst the 542 colleges, medical colleges that India has, the list is wonderfully big and Maharashtra has so many of them. BJ Medical College is very high in the list and it tops in the first 50 and I'm sure in years to come is going to top in the first five medical colleges, the best medical colleges in India. And then I thought to myself, what is the amount of research that is being done in this college? And to my slight sadness, I realized that there weren't more than 50 publications to the credit of this medical college. And then I was thinking to myself, what is the list for 
ஆல் இண்டியா இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஆஃப் மெடிக்கல் சயின்ஸஸ் டெல்லி அண்ட் இட் வாஸ் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் மோர் சம் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜஸ் ஈவன் இன் மகாராஷ்ட்ரா ஹேவ் மோர் நம்பர் ஆஃப் குட் ரீசர்ச் பப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ தாட் தட் திஸ் ரீசர்ச் சொசைட்டி லெட் இட் பி அ ரிமைண்டர் டு அஸ் சேயிங் தேட் த ரீசர்ச் பப்ளிகேஷன் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ப்ரெஸ்டீஜியஸ் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜஸ் ஷுட் கோ ஃபார் அண்ட் வைட் அண்ட் பி ரிமெம்பர்ட் பை எவ்ரிபடி டு யூ ஆல் ரிமெம்பர் தட் திஸ் இயர் in the month of march 2021 one professor from bj medical college the professor of medicine dr sangle has a publication in lancet and obviously on covid and the use of tocilizumab so i congratulate the department of medicine professor of medicine and dr sangle for this publication and that takes me back to 1967 when there was a publication by dr narsimhan in the lancet and it was highly applauded he worked in the department of physiology under professor ganla and his publication was really appreciated all over the world now he was the sole author i also wish that teachers and students of this college become the first authors of a number of publications may not always be in lancet but maybe in the bmj or maybe in the new england journal of medicine i would like the students to know all these journals well and get stimulated by today's research conference and have more publications i'm not saying it is publish or perish but we have to remember that publications are a way to kind of disseminate your knowledge and disseminate your experience and teach the world so that the next generation can follow whatever advice and whatever experience you want to give to your juniors i was thinking of research and then that came to my mind that what research is going on just now have you got enough material to do research for the last one year we are all battling with covid and do i say that covid provides you all the material to do research i was told by the organizing secretary that the department of pediatrics has published a dozen papers during the covid times i must congratulate the professor of pediatrics dr arthi kinikar for the good work that they have done and then i was told that all the lecturers and associate professors did not sleep they had to sleep in the covid wards and it was during that time that they did all the writing i was extremely astonished and i must appreciate the good work done by them under the guidance of your dean dr tambe what do i say this covid not only is a terrible scenario that it has produced on all of us maharashtra is really battling we have got the vaccine but the human behavior has not changed much and therefore if we don't take good care the situation of covid is getting difficult every day we are learning that the hospitals are getting crowded we are learning that more and more patients are getting admitted there aren't enough beds there is shortage of oxygen there is shortage of remdesivir but amidst all this i feel that this big sankatachi sandhi karachi so you have to find an opportunity in this calamity that is facing you and i would think that all the students should think what is it that we need in covid times what is it that is working is it the remdesivir that is working or is it the favipiravir that is working is remdesivir producing cardiac and hepatic and renal toxicities is favipiravir producing any any other toxicities is it good for mild cases or do we need ivermectin or do we need doxycycline or are they good going to be good prophylactic medicines we don't know much about it one year has passed but we are still not very sure what works and what doesn't work so this research society is going to be a nidus for you and i think one nice protocol at least will come out and we will have something like say home gay based care for covid 19 patients so that the covid care centers and the hospitals are not overcrowded maybe we can offer these patients little bit of ivermectin maybe we can offer them favipiravir maybe vitamin c and zincovit and maybe steroids 
can be offered like inhalers or sprays nasal spray even at home but we have to do lot of research to come to these conclusions so i would advise that the students and the staff members would find this opportunity this is also an opportunity not to undertake research only on covid but there are many other areas where research can be undertaken for example has covid affected the mortality of other diseases is it that patients who were suffering with cardiac ailment have not gone to the hospital with the fear of covid and either they have lost their lives or they have gone better we don't know what has really happened so i would feel that this year is a very important year very significant year for all of us and the research goal society today and this conference is going to lay down the seeds for undertaking one of the best researches and i am quite sure that the students and staff of the bidam bj medical college are going to do all this i congratulate all those staff members all those students who have contributed as many research papers as possible for this research society's conference and have also contributed to our medical journal the medical journal of western india which is being published again for the last 47 years i think the journal is getting better and better now i think it has some it has acquired a number i think now it is getting indexed but i would be happy if it has a good impact factor and it has a good number so that many people would like to publish in our medical journal or the medical journal of western india as it is called i also congratulate the editor of this journal for having taken out the medical journal this year now what will i say research is something which all of us know too well and we know that what does a keen researcher do a researcher sees what everyone sees but he thinks what nobody has ever thought so you have to think from a different angle and we have to think differently and then only you can act and remember that there is no action without research and there is no research without action so if you sit in the armchair maybe well good research cannot be conducted you have to either go in the hospital wards or you have to go in the laboratories or you have to go to the physiology department and conduct some good research i am sure the youngsters of today the assistant professors the associate professors will get motivated and you may even go to the community i think there is so much work that is required to be done in our urban health centers that world class public health research will come out classical example is we don't know what public health methodologies are working we are saying we were saying all along that covid spreads by droplet infections but now a research in lancet shows that it spreads mainly as an airborne disease so see how the science is changing and i'm sure our community medicine department will undertake good amount of research to change the scenario and to change the landscape of research our college and hospital has a very good good tradition of honesty simplicity earnestity and empathy and all that must get translated in your research i'll give you an example you may not know sasun general hospital boasts that two great freedom fighters mahatma gandhi and sane guru ji were admitted in sasun hospital way back before independence in 1927 or a little after that and gandhi ji was operated for appendicectomy in sasun hospital in david sasun there is still there are many rooms which have been kept as museum in honor of mahatma gandhi but there was also another freedom fighter sane guru ji who was also admitted and do you know something very 